The inquiry considered whether the HCCC and other government regulatory frameworks could improve outcomes for the public who use cosmetic health services. Uh, the inquiry was also in response to a growing public concern with regards to this industry. The committee obviously learned that the regulatory environment relating to cosmetic health services is incredibly complex but also dynamic and there are a number of state and commonwealth laws and organisations with regulatory and complaint handling functions uh, but there is no set definition of cosmetic health service uh, so both registered and unregistered practitioners uh, work in this area. The committee was also very concerned to hear that there were many instances of underreporting and complaints about cosmetic health services uh, for various reasons. We know this is a growth industry and there are concerns about the corporate model of practice versus the traditional model of patient-centred care. The committee is concerned that there is an instance of profits being put before patients uh, by some providers. The committee also found the collaboration between the HCCC and other state and Commonwealth organisations is important to inform and protect the public and it is also essential that this collaboration continues in the strongest way. Uh, the committee mostly received evidence from and about registered practitioners. However, the committee considers that the regulation of unregistered practitioners could be the subject of a separate inquiry. Obviously the committee deliberated long and hard on this and I'm delighted that uh, the committee unanimously endorsed all of these recommendations going forward to government. The committee recommended that a review of the HCCC's powers and functions to ensure that the HCCC is able to protect patients using health services and assist in resolving their concerns. In addition, the committee recommended that the title cosmetic surgeon be restricted or protected nationally or at the very least in New South Wales so doctors using this title meet certain minimum criteria in terms of education, training and experience. The committee heard that at present a range of doctors may use this title from GPs to plastic surgeons and this can potentially mislead the public. The committee also heard that the public needs to be better informed about cosmetic health services procedures and practitioners and the complaints process itself. The committee has recommended a public awareness campaign and a one-stop shop website and advice service to ensure the main demographics using these services are very well informed. Look, the committee hopes that by doing this it will ensure that the HCCC's powers and functions are robust enough to adequately address the complexities associated with the cosmetic health services industry and assist patients in resolving their concerns. In addition, a stronger legislative and regulatory framework to better protect the public from potential harm and of course a public that is better informed about the risks of cosmetic procedures, the types of practitioners performing them and where and how to make a complaint if they are dissatisfied. The one one thing that's come out of this inquiry is the fact that the HCCC is there to help the public.